Welcome back to Maths with Mr. Duffield. I have in front of me another non right angle triangle question. Um, been told that angle ABC is obtuse. That's going to be relevant to this question in a few minutes' time. Working out the size of angle ABC, therefore, giving my answer to three sig figs. Um, I should notice I'm interested in this angle. I've got the opposite side length, and I've got this angle over here and this side length. Um, two pairs of opposite angles and side lengths. That's the sine rule. It's the sine rule. So let's um, figure it out. Okay. The sine of an angle over the opposite side length is equal to the sine of an angle and another opposite side length pair. Okay? So, substituting in the values that we've got in this question. Um, angle C, not to be mistaken for seaside resort town, is 35 and uh, length C is 12. Angle B is what we're looking for, but we know the opposite side length is 20. So, timesing by 20, both sides, is going to get us closer to this being on its own. And equals sine of B. And then we're going to take inverse sine of both sides. So the inverse sine of 20 times sine 35 over 12. Lots of, uh, lots of brackets here, but that's okay. Uh, let's get out my calculator and crack on with this. My, my, um, my calculator is currently set to degrees. It's important to check that you haven't accidentally slipped into radians. Happens all the time. Inverse sine of this uh, fraction of this uh, section here gives me a value of angle B being 72.93 uh, degrees. Now, an issue has arisen, has it not? Because we have been told angle ABC is obtuse. Obtuse is bigger than 90 degrees. The angle that we found here is 72.93. That's, that's less than. That's a bit awkward. Well, let's think about how the, the sine graph works. Let's look at how this actually looks. Sine looks like this. Okay. Here's 180, here's 360, here's 270 down here, and here is 90 up here. Okay, 72.93 is, is roughly oh, about here. We can effectively kind of extend the line from which we've, we've looked down on whatever this is. This is probably, um, oh, I don't know, 20 times sine 35 over 12, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the y-axis intercept along which I've looked and, and then got 72.93 effectively. But obviously, I want it to be obtuse. I want it to be further along this kind of y, uh, this horizontal kind of read across, okay? So I need to effectively use what I know about the nature of this uh, this shape. I've shown you guys this uh, a while ago. Effectively, the difference between 90 and 72.93 is the same length as the distance between 90 and whatever this obtuse angle is. Okay? So, 90 minus that answer makes about, about 17.067. That's the length of, 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 of one of these. Okay? So my, the angle that I found on my calculator, on my initial calculation, is 17.067 less than 90. The angle that I actually want is 17.067 more than 90. I hope that that makes sense. Uh, effectively, jumping that distance above 90, 90 plus 17.067, gives me a, an angle of, of 107 Point zero six seven degrees. Now, rounding to three six figures, 107 degrees is perfectly acceptable for that question. And that answers it. So, as well as this being about forming an equation in the sine rule and then and, and solving to work out the answer, it's also paying attention to the fact that the angle has been expressed as being obtuse. And I need to know the shape and nature of the sine diagram 
to work out what the obtuse angle would be for reading across this 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 value. I hope that that makes sense. It'll, it'll come more straightforward and easier with with a bit more practice. I might do one more uh, question on on areas, and then go home into bed. I hope uh, you're enjoying. Speak to you soon.